Saturday. I am all caught up with work for teaching and editing for weddings, which doesn't happen often at this time of the year. But the sun is shining. I have solar racks that I picked up about a week ago, and it is time to actually get those dudes installed on the roof of the bus. So I'm gonna go drill 32 holes into my bus roof and get my solar racks installed. We went with a product called Iron Ridge. It's probably the one that most people recommend. My real exposure to it came from uh, Justin with Gilligan Phantom, who has the same bus that we do. I think his is a year older, but he was, uh, he was the first person that I saw not only use it, but obviously show how to install it. And it seems to be pretty straightforward, but it's a great, uh, it's a great product. The Iron Ridge system itself is actually made for residential roofs. And so uh, adapting it to the bus is not something incredibly difficult to do. And I think the thing that's probably the best thing about it is that they seem to be structural rails that can hold a pretty significant amount of weight. So the plan is to run basically 40 feet of rails all along the top of the bus. I'll have roughly six to seven panels on the roof and then the rest of the space will fill up with uh, just a small little deck on top, which again, the fact that these are structural rails and can hold a bit of weight uh, will be of great advantage for having just some, some deck boards and a, a small deck to obviously hold the weight of us. So I'm gonna jump inside of the bus first, start to drill up through the roof, which is why I have my Grampy flannel on. And uh, no, it's actually my Grampy flannel. I got it from my wife's grandpa, who we called Grampy. And uh, I'm gonna run, uh, gonna run some holes up through. I did one already to kind of test my bolt length but run some holes up through the roof at all of these cross points. And then when we get up on top, I'll show you what the bracket system looks like and how the iron ridge rails actually attach to the bracket itself. So uh, let me get it, the camera set up here so I can record all of it. And then I'm gonna spend the next probably hour or so just getting the holes drilled down the entire side of the bus. One cannot be too careful. It's about time, man. For me, to do me, man. <laughs> Let it go, man. Well, I've officially burned up. I broke two bits. Burned up this bit. And then I burned up my 3 8 bit. Uh, I'm using a step bit right now to try to get the initial hole drilled, I feel like if I can get that first smaller hole in, huh, getting the bigger one in might be a little bit easier, but it's tough. It's tough work. <laughs> For sure. So, back at it. You know what it is? Ball in time. It's one on one. Yeah. Then, uh, listen, I'm in my all white stones, all white ears. I get it. Well, this isn't going too smooth. My first six holes or so did great. And now I'm just hitting these spots that are, they're just completely destroying my drill tips. Um, that's what the last one looked like after just one hole. So that's not working. I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do, because that's not gonna work. I gotta, I gotta have a bit more success to get 32 of these dudes drilled in. Um, yeah, that sucks. Dang. Necessity is the mother of invention, right? So I've burned through the tip of two of my 3 8 drill bits. I have one left, but I'm gonna try to not use it. 
I jumped to the next size down, which is a 23rd 64ths, which is, I mean, just a tick off of a 3 8 The head of this is fine, so I'm using that now to run through the bigger hole, and then I'm doing one final kind of drill out, route out with my 3 8 because if I can get past the tip, um, the rest of the bit is fine. Uh, but that also means now I'm drilling it each hole three times as opposed to each hole two times. Um, this is not easy. I'm not gonna lie. This is uh, this is taking a little bit of a little bit of effort, if you will. But that's that's the whole point, right? You just get after it until you get it done, and then you get after the next thing and get it done. Get it done. Sorry, this isn't a very exciting video to watch. I'm just drilling holes. How I live without the hard white, yeah. Throwing all ice, do it look like I care. Be in Vegas all night, next day we in the air. Hit the landing gear, landing somewhere for where the water see through when the sky light blue and the eyes light blue, looking like high noon. I ain't turning nothing down. I'm in the words of Red, too. Almost there. Almost there. High value, throw a stack in the air, make the money go zoom. And when we in the spot, can't two be brand new. Yeah, you heard of me, but I ain't heard of you. I got a rent to go click and a real damn chick with a one side something down. that'll make your boy grits. Rise from the bottom to the top, I'm on top of it. Dope got a lot of it, get a boy profit it. That's why they call a the boy profit when I'm rocking it. <laughs> I'm at it again. The Playboy's back and I'm ballin' again. I guess money, I guess dough, I guess it in, baby girl, you know. I'm at it again. The most haters back and they hatin' again. I guess money, I guess dough. I hate a word of you know. You know I'm flyin' in the bird, flyin' in the lyre. Baby girl, let me so I'm all in the air. Yeah, I'm all right there. Fresh to death, yeah, they say the boy next up. Yes, man, I'm next now. I'm taking my position. Y'all just listen. Ballin' ain't nothing. Y'all pay attention. Flow so vivid. Can't you get the picture, man? See what I'm kicking and I'm talking when I'm spitting, man. I get it how I'm living, man. Something like the Dilla Main. Dilla Dime, Dilla Tony did a whole thing. I'm a baller. Raw when I'm in the paint. Back it up, back it in, put it in your face. Uh, and I'ma tell you what it is, homie. I handle mine all the time on the beers, homie. Yeah, the dollars know my name. See these dollars. All right, day two. It is a gorgeous day outside. And I know I always talk about the weather, but it matters when you're doing this kind of stuff. So got all the holes drilled yesterday. And the plan today is to take my solar racks there and basically get the roof lined, uh, bolt up and through all of the ribs of the bus so that I can kind of officially consider my roof uh, done for the season. So I have one other thing that I know that I'm going to need to put into the roof, which is a roof hatch. And I'm actually super excited to show that to everybody, but I'm going to hold off on that till the spring. So this is really the last step on the roof, other than just some little touch up things that I'm going to do to get these rails down. Now that I've got my insulated roof coating painted on basically lets the roof sort of, uh, be a check mark of completion and then I can really turn my attention to the inside next. So gonna hop up on the roof, show you basically what this looks like and uh, like I said get these rails put on here really quickly. I'm going to actually get the help of Wills who was my big helper in the first conversion but now he's 14 and likes Xbox more than he likes his dad. <laughs> So it's all good. He'll come back around. <clears throat> but I, this is not necessarily something that I want to try to tackle on my own, although it wouldn't be impossible. So anyways, I'm going to get Wills out here and try to get some try to get some help from him to basically, you know, be in charge of being inside and holding the bolts steady so that I can get them locked down. Here's an example of the uh, bolt head up and through. And here's an example of a mistake that I made, which is why 
I have it glued. I accidentally ran my drill bit a little too close to the part underneath. This is square tube, but this is where the fiberglass shell and the roof join. And I definitely came a little too far this way. So got that sealed with some Cicaflex and then I'll have a I'll have a thing that'll go right over the top of that, which should should keep it from being an issue. So anyways, gonna gonna get these bolts up and through and the rails on and ready to go. Boy with the squap. I'm at it again. The playboy's back and I'm balling again. I guess money. I guess This is the moment we've been waiting for. I actually have some help. <laughs> so we're going to get our L brackets put down first. And then we'll get the rails themselves up here. So I got all my stiff. We got Wills inside. Wills, poke your head out. Out the door. He's not a little kid anymore. <laughs> and he's not too keen about, I don't want to be on video. Hey dude, if you're helping, you're going to be on video. Sorry. pretty fast actually um, I'm leaving them just a touch loose because when I get the rails actually hooked up uh, you know there might need to be a little bit of adjustment to make it square but man for the most part this is going pretty dang fast and I'm pretty dang excited <laughs> Fresh to death for me to spite them Man, you know what I mean, I do it right then SP and I'm doing it again right then I'm at it again The playboy's back and I'm ballin' again I guess money, I guess dough I guess it in, baby, girl, you know I'm at it again The most haters back and they hatin' again I guess money, I guess dough that Vanna White is holding what we call a bonding splice what's up buddy this is going to slide in on one end of the track and then into the other end and it'll actually snap into place I might run a couple screws through it just to just to make sure that it's nice and secure but in theory these bad boys are supposed to hold it all together. Go, man. You know what it is? Ball in time. It's one on one. Yeah. Nah, nah. Listen, I'm in my all white stones, all white airs. I get it how I live without the hard white, yeah. Throwing all ice, do it look like I care. Be in Vegas all night, next day we in the air. Hit the landing gear, landing somewhere, foreign where the water see through. When the sky light blue and the eyes light blue, looking like high noon. I ain't turning nothing down, I'm high value. Throw a stack in the air, make the money go zoom. And when we in the spot, can too, we brand new. Yeah, you heard of me, but I. Just through bolts in at each rib all the way down. 
So the thing we got to do now is just do one more little, uh, one more little tighten. I got to check them for square, and then one more little tighten to make sure that everything is super tight <clears throat> up top. We intentionally left it a little loose, so we could just do some fine little fine tune adjustments. So my not so little son. <laughs> is on bolt duty. Next, now I'm taking my position. Y'all yeah. yeah, just listen. Ballin' ain't nothing. Y'all pay attention. Flow so vivid. Can't you get the picture, man? See what I'm kicking and I'm talking when I'm spitting, man. I get it how I'm living, man. Something like the Dilla Main. Dilla Dime, Dilla 20, did a whole thing. I'm a baller, raw when I'm in the paint. Back it up, back it in, put it in your face. Uh, and I'ma tell you what it is, homie. I handle mine all the time on the beers, homie. Yeah, the dollars know my name. See these diamonds on me. I get it in, homie. Away with this guap. I'm at it again. The Playboy's back and I'm ballin' again. I guess money, I guess dough, I guess it in, baby. Girl, you know. 